In our ELA class, we chose a short story called The Bath, written by Jenna Frame. And actually, at first, we chose this story because we actually were attracted by the title and we were wondering what the author, Jenna Frame, would actually talk about in the story regarding the bath. And even after reading it, I learned a lot from it, especially at the end when the old woman, which is the main character, she actually sits at the bus station and reflects her own life and think about her own family. I thought that that scene was very sad. I actually thought that this story was very interesting to read because most of the stories we read these days are all regarding the complex of events happening around the young generation of people instead of the old. I thought it was a very um, new idea and of course a new opportunity to know more about how and what they feel it made me realize once again that no matter how old you are right now and no matter who you are aging and dying is inescapable i really enjoyed the story and had a really new idea so i really recommend everyone in our ela class and other classes to actually read this story thank you i read this story called the best the story uses third person perspective it's quite interesting. It tells us when you get old, you feel weakness and loneliness. I thought that the book The Bath, well, the story The Bath, was very interesting um, because it was, first of all, not really what I expected. I thought there would be more of a plot, while the bath, in the bath, the story, there wasn't a lot happening. It was basically two parts. One was, the first part was when the old woman was in in the bath and the second part was going to um, the graves of her husband and her parents who had died. So I um, didn't expect that. I thought there would be more of a plot, but I also, I still really enjoyed it because I really like when authors are descriptive in their stories and most of the time when there's a short story with not a lot of a plot um, when it doesn't really develop that much it's because that there's a lot of description for the few things that do happen and so I really enjoy when there are descriptive words that can um, that help me visualize what is happening and so that uh, the bath definitely did that for me so I, I enjoyed reading it and um, I would definitely recommend it for a quick read after reading the bath, I think the plot is kind of boring. However, I think it's the bath is more like a descriptive story, which is um, the writer used a lot of like descriptive language and adjectives to describe the story. For example, like when the old woman is taking the bath, the writer didn't wrote like the old woman, but using the descriptive descriptive language to make the woman sounds out and I think that's kind of cool and if you if you like descriptive language then maybe you should read the bath